Friday everyone. I'm Ann Burchard. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today we are going to make a Dutch door fold card. This was inspired by Ina Eisen. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And I will be using the Sailing Home stamp set and the matching dies and the Stitch So Sweetly dies. So let's make a card. Let me set this aside. I started off with Sahara sand and I cut it at four and a quarter. Bring in your paper cutter and you are going to need to cut it at nine inches. So those measurements are four and a quarter by nine inches. Go ahead and cut that, set that aside. And now we're going to score it at five and a half. Make sure you move your blade. I have done that so many times where I went to score and I actually cut. Well, that's no fun. So again, at five and a half, we're going to score. Next, I'm going to bring in another piece of Sahara sand. And this is cut at two and a quarter by eight and a half. And since we used a sheet of paper, it's already at eight and a half. Move the cutting blade out. And now we're going to score at two and an eighth. Two and one eighth at either end. And this creates our door at the bottom. Give it a good score. All right, set that aside. Bring in my bone folder. I'm going to... Give it a good score for burnishing. Make sure it lines up. There you go. And with the card base, fold the top down. Give it a good score as well. Now I'm going to be using the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue because it's going to give me time to adjust the bottom. So on the back of the door, give it some glue. Remember, it doesn't have to be hurricane proof, just eight year old proof. And now I'm going to line up the bottom and the sides. And I hope you can see that. The bottom and the sides. And this is where the glue comes in handy because it gives you time to move it to make sure it's all lined up. Give it a good smush. All right, let's decorate the doors. For the doors, I used basic white, and it is cut at two by two and an eighth. For the designer series paper, I cut it at one and seven eighth by two. Now, if you have directional paper, make sure you're cutting it correctly because that's gonna look awkward. So let's add these two. Use a little stamp and seal. If I get the top and the sides lined up, I know the bottom's gonna be lined up. Rah, come on, no, 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 no. There we go. Should have used glue on this as well. Okay, line it up and commit. Let's come in with this one. Top and sides are lined up. Good to go. Some more stamp and seal on the back. And then I'm gonna line these up for the doors. And this one. Now, I like to make sure that this top line and the bottom line are even, because that will drive me nuts. There we go. Okay, and now for the top, I have basic white and it's cut at four by three and a quarter. Add that. See how quickly this is coming together? I love it. And then the designer series paper, again, if it's directional, 
make sure you have it going the way you want it. And this is cut at three and three quarters by three. Add that to the top. Make sure I have even borders all the way around. I'm just not having a good day, am I? But it's salvageable. There you go. Okay. I used the Stitch So Sweetly to cut out another um, Sahara Sand in basic white. And in the stamp set, these are, or sorry, in the die set, these are number two and three. If you're starting with the largest one being one, I used two and three. Two is for the Sahara Sand and three is for the basic white. Go ahead and put those together. Okay, set that aside, set this aside. I just have some scratch piece of basic white. I'm going to stamp the lighthouse in Sahara sand. Sorry, I know that wiggles the camera. Down here, so I can be stingy with my paper. I almost dropped that on my project. That would have been sad. And then I'm going to bring in the coordinating dies, and I'm using washi tape to make sure the die does not move. Line it up, press it, close this up because I'm going to put my finger in it. Guaranteed. I'm going to be using my mini boss. And again, it's and proof. It tells you exactly how to make your sandwiches. Since I'm using the die, uh, platform one, a number two, your project, and a number number two, and a second number two. I'll get it out. Crank that through. I know I'm wiggling, sorry. And there you have your lighthouse. I'm gonna set that aside. And then I have just a strip of the Sahara sand. I'm going to stamp, let me move this real quick. I'm going to stamp the word thanks, the sentiment in soft suede, because I wanted this to stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to place this so I have enough room for the die. Beautiful. Wipe this off with my chamois. Close this up because my finger is going to get in it. And then in the coordinating die set, they have the banner. And I'm lining up the top of the sentiment with the bottom of this die right here. So then I know it's nice and straight. And equidistance on the ends. And I'm not sure that's going to hold. Let me grab another washi tape. Put it on your shirt or your jeans. Pick up some lint just to make sure it doesn't destroy your project. Bring in the emboss, mini boss. Set that in. Don't forget to text Anne Burchard, all caps, one word, to the number 22828 to get on my distro list for my monthly newsletter where I have tips, tricks, and techniques and any specials that Stampin' Up! may have. I also hold a card swap. What's a card swap? Well, depending on how many people sign up, let's say that 10 people sign up for the card swap, you're gonna make nine cards and mail them out. And in a week or so, you will have nine cards, different cards coming back to you. I think it's a great way to get, to be inspired, to build up your card stash. And it's just fun way to interact with the other crafters. I am 
carefully getting this out of the die set with my take your pick tool so as not to destroy it. And it's being stubborn. Let me try the piercing end. Doesn't want to let it go. It's okay. You'll be fine. My goodness. Haha. <laughs> oh. That was stubborn. Okay, let's put this top flap together. I'm going to start off with my stamp and seal. Just a swipe down the center. Bring in my twine. Cut off a bunch. I'm just going to puddle it on the back. I don't like doing bows because they always turn out horrible. There we go. Just make a nest. I want this guy to end on this side since he's on that one. Okay, come in with a little seal. Keep him from popping up. Come in with your dimensionals. Now don't forget the dimensionals around the outside. That's still good. You paid for it. Use it. So you can either cut it or just rip it. And I'm going to cut a bunch here in the middle. Take these off. And then I'm going to set this over to the side. It's coming together. Now for the thanks, same thing, I'm going to one swipe all the way across with the stamp and seal. But on the right end, I'm going to add one dimensional. Because it's going to be sitting on top of the lighthouse, part of it's going to be on the lighthouse, which is already raised, and the other half, the right half, is going to be sitting on the cardstock below. So I want to make sure it's all even and not wobbly. I'm trying to get that twine out of the way. Nobody's listening to me today. Okay, then let's add now. Listen to me now, because I just did this. Do not put seal all the way on the back. You only want it on the top half. Why? Because if you have glue down here, it's going to stick to the doors, and that is not what you want. Now, if that does happen, get out the rubber uh, adhesive remover. This thing is going to last you your entire craft life. It's awesome. It gets all the sticky off, and it doesn't destroy your project. So again, put the seal on only on the top half of this panel. And that's it. Set it up there. Now let's go ahead and decorate the inside. So I have a piece of Whisper White cut at five and a half, I'm sorry, five and a quarter by four. And this is basic white. If I said Whisper White, I was wrong. It is basic white. Add this to the center. And this is going to cover up the door back. Have equidistance on the sides. And let's decorate with the sailboat. And I'm going to use the Sahara sand. And I'm put them right down in the corner. Ta-da! Done. Close this up. Wipe this off with my chamois. And there you have it. A Dutch door card. How cute is that? Well, thank you so much for watching and 
joining this crafting experience with a civil engineer. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like and share. And please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much and we'll see you next week. Bye.